Today I'm going to make jollof rice. I hope you will like this dish. I'm going to use two cups of rice and I will be using my rice cooker. One large red bell pepper, one green chili pepper, about six or seven cloves of garlic, a piece of uh, ginger, one onion, two tomatoes, one star anise, two bay leaves, and two red chilies. I also will be using a handful of dried thyme leaves. I'll be using about two spoons or two tablespoons of um, tomato paste. I'll be using some black pepper. I'll be using some paprika, some oil, and of course salt to taste. Okay, so I'm getting ready to make my jollof rice in my rice cooker. I'm going to add about a quarter cup of oil. The oil needs to get hot. Now, this is not how you traditionally make jollof rice. This is my version of jollof rice. I personally do not like to blend the tomatoes and the onions in a blender before putting it in the rice. I like to taste the pieces of onion and the pepper and the tomatoes when I eat my rice. So that is why I cook it this way. This is my jollof rice. I hope you like it and you'll try this recipe. I'm going to add my onions. Give it a stir. I'll cover the pot and let it continue to fry. Okay, I'm going to check my onion. Looks pretty good. You can actually smell the onion, how nice it is. I'm now going to add my one star anise, my two red chilies, my small two bay leaves, my green chili, my piece of ginger, and my garlic. I'll give this a stir. Put the cover on and let it cook for about two, three minutes so that the garlic and onion can fry in the oil. This looks very nice. And I'm going to pull this to the side a little and I'm going to add, I'm going to add about two tablespoons of tomato paste. I'll mix it in with the onions. I'm going to cover this, let it cook. Okay, so now my tomato paste has gotten a very dark red in color, which is what I really want. I'm going to add my two fresh tomatoes. These are a little not so great. However, I'll use them anyway. I'm going to cover this and let the tomatoes cook for at least 10 minutes. Okay, I'm gonna give the tomatoes a stir. I'm gonna let this tomatoes cook until it's completely cooked. Now I'm going to add the one red bell pepper to cook with the, along with this tomato. Give it a stir. This is really nice. OK, 
Okay, so this is what's going on with the with the pepper and tomatoes and onions. Everything is cooking right now. I'm gonna let it cook a little bit more because I need the tomatoes to be well cooked. So my onion and tomatoes and the pepper has been cooking for at least 10 minutes. I'm going to add a handful of dry thyme leaves. A half a teaspoon of black pepper. One tablespoon of paprika. One teaspoon of Goya adobo. And in the place of salt. I'm going to mix this well. I'm going to add four cups of warm water. Give it a stir. So that's my main reason for not blending all the vegetables. I like the vegetables to be cooked with the rice. Now I'm going to cover this and let it simmer for about 10 minutes. Now I'm going to taste the rice to make sure it has enough salt. Um, I will at this time add a quarter teaspoon of red hot chili just to spice up the rice. Give it a stir. I'm going to taste. It just wants a little bit more of salt. So I'm just going to put a little bit more of adobo. Give it a stir. It's now. Wow, this is delicious. Perfect. I'm going to add my two cups of rice. Make sure I mix this well. And I'm going to add some frozen scallion. Put the lid on and let the rice cook. Now the rice cooker just came off. And let's see, this is how the jollof rice looks. I'm going to leave it to cook, continue to cook until the everything is dried up. Okay, so for my piri piri chicken, I'm using four whole legs, thighs and drumsticks. I'm going to add the juice of half a lemon. I'm going to add a uh, half a teaspoon of rosemary leaves, half a teaspoon of garlic powder, half a teaspoon of onion powder, quarter teaspoon of red chilies, a half a teaspoon of goya adobo, some dried crushed thyme leaves, a half a teaspoon of paprika, quarter teaspoon of black pepper. So my hand has been washed. I'm going to mix this well. And I'm going to put this in the refrigerator to, to marinate for 30 minutes. Mix it well with your hand, the best tool. So to make my piri piri chicken, I'm going to use my George Foreman grill. So my grill is getting hot right now. Just gonna oil my grill. Okay, so my grill is very hot. It's screaming how hot it is. Those are my four chicken legs. I'm just gonna go ahead and... Now in this pot, I'm going to add two tablespoons of butter, 
a little bit of olive oil. I'm going to coat my chicken again a second time. Place the chicken on the other side. Okay, so the chicken is still cooking. Let's check the chicken. Now, chicken is ready. I'm going to go ahead and take it off. I'm going to add the chicken thighs. So this is the chicken. I'm going to glaze the chicken. Now my piri piri chicken. My piri piri chicken is is cooked. It's ready now. Everything is done. Now it's time to taste this jollof rice. Wow. Wow, this is so nice. I can taste the peppers, the tomatoes. All the seasoning. Very, very nice. Now it's time to taste the chicken. This is my piri piri chicken. Wow, this is so good. This is really delicious. Very nice. Wow, amazing. Delicious. Mm -mm, I gotta have some more. It's time to take the whole chicken. Oh, wow, it's falling off the bone. How good it is. Yummy. Mm -mm -mm. Can't get any better than this. So here you have it. Jollof rice and piri piri chicken. This is my version.